Hello race fans and welcome back to the More Freedom series. Today we have traveled to the Homestead Miami Speedway for homes the Homestead 80. This is going to be race number 35 in the More Freedom series season 3 and with only two races left to go. The top three are within striking distance of winning this championship. So let's go through your top 10 in points. Your current points leader will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Second will be the 96 of Nico. Third will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 300 of Resemble. Sixth will be the 80 of Paul Garrick. Seventh will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 69 of Arco Creates, and rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. Not your current top 10 in points. Your team standings look like this. MBR leads away with Aces to Z second, KFB Racing third, Douche Motorsports fourth, and rounding out the top five is going to be Dump and Roll Racing. In your chassis standings, again, Toyota has a pretty commanding lead right now with Dodge second, Chevy third, fourth is pa Ford, and last is Pontiac. So Pontiac has had a, you know, they've only got two drivers out here, so they're doing pretty good for only having two drivers. But that's your current points standings here for this More Freedom Series race. Number 35 of the year, this one and the next one, and we're going to be done for the season. We're, we're wrapping it up, but uh, this... This crowd is filing in, so I think it's about time. Let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. And on her outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting third will be the number 20 of Adam B5000. And on his outside, the 799 of Mike Check. Starting fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. And on his outside, the 42 of ZWTF. Starting seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. And on his outside, the 33 of Harvey Jones. Starting ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 123 of Roy Chow. That's your starting top 10 today for this Homestead 80. Hopefully I didn't say Homestead 60 earlier, but it's the Homestead 80. Where I'm hoping for 54 laps of green flag action. And you know, after last week's race at Indianapolis, I am just excited to see how what happens here at Homestead as G3 is going to be leading us down, take the green flag, running third in points. She definitely needed the pole here today, and she does need a win if she's going to catch up to Nico and Duber. You know, Nico starting in second place here today. Again, another one of those tracks where the low line is going to be the line to have here as G3 leads us down to take the green flag here today. Coming off of turn four, heading down to the stripe. That green flag is out, and we are underway here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Down into turn one, G3 gets a lead right here on lap number one. Second is going to be that 96 of Nico with the mic check followed right behind. We've got two wide action right now for the fourth position between the 20 of Adam B5000 and that 42 is EWTF. Adam's still down on the bottom. He's going to try to get down to the inside of that 799 as a the 49 of Jetman makes it three wide going into three and four. He's down to the bottom of that 20 of Adam B5000 followed along by that 300 of Resemble, your leader. On well, lap number one is going to be the three of Geek Girl Games. So she already has 10 bonus points coming to her here in the More Freedom Series in this race. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as G3 leads us down into three and four here on lap number two. Checking back through this field as we still have three wide battle right now between the 123 of Roy Chow, the 300 of Resemble, and that 20 of Adam B5000. Here comes Roy's teammate and owner, the 80 of Hog Eric, and he is very, very loose right there. So Eric loose off a of turn four, I do believe, and he was squirrely all over the place. Uh. We managed to save it though, so Eric saves it after getting squirrely off of turn four. The 123 of Roy Chow, he is going to push out in front of that 300 of Resemble. Here comes that 33 of Harvey Jones and the 42 of ZWTF right now. The three of Geek Girl Game, she's got a challenge right here by the 96 of Nico. He gets right to her back bumper. He's desperate to lead a lap here today at Homestead as he is currently, what is it? He's like 
15 or 16 points behind the 329 of Heck of a Duber, who, again, he started way back in 35th today, currently running in the 34th position. We could probably catch up to him. He's moving up right now. He's uh, under the 423 wide right here. So that 329 of Heck of a Duber is trying to make his way from the front or from the back to the front with the 88 of NM. The uh, teammate to that 96, he's got things to say about that as he is going to get down to the inside as we have an accident. No, no, no. Thought we had an accident. We definitely had some skid marks. Probably had some skid marks in the pants of the 329 of Heck of a Duber right there. As the 49 of Jetman now to the back bumper of the 799 of Mike Check. So two MBR cars right here in first or second and fourth as the 49 of Jetman trying to get down to the inside of that 799 of Mike Check. None able to get a good run off of turn four. So that 123 of Roy Chow, he's now around the 42 of ZWTF. So is the 33 of Harvey Jones. Harvey, again, top 10 runner this season. Uh, Harvey, rookie on the year, running seventh in points right now as he is trying to work his way up in the top 10 in these last couple races as G3 has led the full way here as we're getting single file right now. Here comes the 23 of Frederick than you, 08. I mean, fuller than you. Uh, apologies to Fuller. I mistyped his name last week and called him Frederick Than You 08. So Fuller has fallen. I believe that's Fuller. He's either 35th or 37th in points. I think he's fallen all the way back to last in points. Rough go this season for that 23 of Fuller Than You as the triple seven of Seabass, who is running 36th in points. Now down to the inside of that 23 of Fuller than you into one and two. Fuller pulling that car ahead. So we're still, he's seen lots of good racing here. Jump back through the field as the double zero of Mudbone down to the inside of the 13 of King of the Aces. Here comes his teammate, the 95 of Zed Brun, a teammate to that 13 of King of the Aces and that 34 of Super Snake, who is teammates to the triple seven of Seabass. So they're like, not nose to tail, but they are running in the uh, 14th and 15th position. So he's in, able to stay in front of that 13 of King of the Aces as the 95 of Zed Brunna is trying to work down to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone. Mudbone able to keep that car on the outside and keep her going. As a 143 of Mom Games Hard down to the inside of the, the 69 of Arco Creates followed along by the 25 of JTM as the one of Jamal Jackson makes it three wide going into the turn right here. So a three wide sandwich between the one, the 25 and the 69 as the 25 gets a great run off the turn. He is able, probably able to stay in front of that one of Jamal Jackson. So the high line coming into its own right now. Here on lap number 10, we got 10 of 54 already down as we jump back through this field. Trying to cap up, catch up to your points leader, that 329 of Heck of a Duber, who is mired in the back of the pack right here between the 420 and the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. He's moved up a few spots right now. He's up to the 32nd, 33rd position. He is desperately trying to get towards the front of this field as currently last place is going to be the 88 of NM. As your leader is still going to be that three of Geek Girl Games. So G3. Having led 10 laps so far of these 54, maybe 11 now, 11 laps led of 54. She is definitely the car to beat here at Homestead as it looks like we got a pass back here for by the 33 of Harvey Jones trying to get underneath that 123 of Roy Chow. He slides up off of turn four. So Harvey trying to get down to the inside of that 123 of Roy Chow, that outside line coming into its own right in here as we head through this track. It's about 80 degrees here in my Homestead, Miami area today as a 33. He is now, he's getting back down to the inside of that 123 of Roy Chow down the back stretch into three and four. Harvey high or Harvey low. Harvey's usually high, but you know, Harvey's low on the track as a 123 of Roy Chow to the high side. That 42 is ZWTF kind of giving the draft help to the 123 of Roy Chow right now. 
ZWTF hard on the brakes into turn one and two. Slides it high, keeps it behind the 123 of Roy Chow, that 33 of Harvey Jones. He's able to make, he's going to be able to make that pass after that mistake and the no draft help by that 42 of ZWTF as he is trying to do a crossover move right here. 49 of Jetman sliding high a little bit, allowing that 799 of Mike check to give him a little bump coming out of turn four. Mike has to slow down before he wrecks that 49 of Jetman. Heartbreak last week for this 799 of Mike check as he was leading coming off a of turn four at Indianapolis and he ran out of fuel. He didn't even make it to his pit stall before the car stopped in the, in the pit lane. So heartbreak for the 799 of Mike check. He was half a straightaway from winning last week at Indianapolis and ran out of fuel right there off of turn four. As we see these two MBR cars hooked up right now behind the three of Geek Girl Games who still leads away here on lap number 14. So G3 again, amazing car here today at Homestead. Her crew for G3 Motorsports has put together a good package today as her teammate, the 143 of Mom Game was hard, runs 19th on the day. So Duber has now made his way up to the 28th position. So he has fought from 35th to 28th right here today. Uh, we're going to see if they, if he's able to do anything else, if he's able to move any closer to the front of this race as that three of Geek Girl Games has a not a commanding lead, but she certainly has led all the laps here today. Jump back through this field as we see the 72 of Duchess trying to get around the 23 of Fuller than you. I'm looking through the standing. So Duchess it was in front of Fuller already. I don't know if the standings had updated but I think Fuller's trying to get around her on the outside as the triple seven of Seabass gets down to his inside she, he's trying to make a run on the inside of that 23 of Fuller than you but Fuller has a very very stout car on the outside high line here today as a couple douche motorsports cars right here the 72 and the 8 so Moon Bunny who's had a rough go this season she has fallen she had fallen back to 36th in points Gained two positions last week up to 34th. Check back through this field as the 13 of King of the Aces now down to the inside of that 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake about to lose a, a position here to the 13 of King of the Aces and possibly his teammate, the 95 of Zed Brunner on that 619 of Balls Deep. As the 72 and the one and the and the 23 still fight it out right here. This is going to be a battle for the 11th position as Fuller on the outside able to gain that position on the last lap, but he gets caught behind the 20 of Adam B5000 with a good run by that 72 of Duchess down into the turn. Adam comes down and just absolutely cuts her off here. Check back up here towards the front as the 799 of Mike check after almost Hitting and wrecking that 49 of Jetman. He did give him a little tap. Slowed up on the slowed up. Has fallen back a couple places here. He's lost that spot to the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 42 of ZWTF. So those two Dodge vehicles, one for RP Racing, the other for uh Juice Deuce Racing. As we have pit stops on the track, we're gonna watch the three of Geek Girl Games come in as the 49 slides really, really high as they come off the turn. So the 49, the 799, and those guys, they just had to get slowed so fast that they uh, almost wrecked their cars coming into that little, little lane there. We're going to see what this three of Geek Girl Gains does as she breaks off le having led 18 laps. One lap led going to go to that 96 of Nico, so he is going to get those five bonus points here today. As we got right side tires going on, that number three of Geek Girl Games for G3 Motorsports and that Reese Chevy. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop. So left side tires on for that three of Geek Girl Games. Fuel going in right now. He is down and away. Here comes a 123 of Roy Chow in. Actually, he might be leaving the pits. So the 123 of Roy Chow may be moving up in the standings after that pit stop, but we're going to watch and see what. 
The 96 does. We're going to try to catch up to him, see if we can see what's going on up here with the 96. He might already be down. Oh, he's just into his pits right now. So he's got right side tires going on as he was your leader there. Looks like left side tires going on for the 96 of Nico. Trying to get a good run here today as he is stuck in the pits. Oh my, heartbreak for the 96 of Nico. Stuck in the pits again. He must have had damage after trying to come in. As he is just going to be heartbreak here today. That's going to ruin his race. This is basically going to do it. For that 96 of Nico, he is basically going to be done for the day. He is not going to win it. Let's try to find your leader as he finally, finally pulls out of the pits with the 33 of Harvey Jones. So heartbreak for the 96 of Nico as a very, very, very extended stay in the pits is going to put him way back in the field. Trying to catch up to who could be your leader here on the track. I don't think it's the 96. I think the 96 is last place right now, folks. It's the three of Geek Girl Games, so the 96 of Nico comes into the pits in first position, and I believe he's going to come out in the last position. I'm still waiting for all the timing and scoring to update, but that could be the result right here. But I believe the three of Geek Girl Games is your leader here on the track. So I don't know what happened to that 96, but let's go find out what happened to him, that which, what caused him to be stuck in the pits for that long. So watching the entry to this pit road, he does, he gets in there way too hot and he is going to hit that outside wall. So coming in way too hot is the 96 of Nico amongst other folks, but he is going to hit the outside wall and that's what's going to cause him to fall. He didn't fall to the last place. He's currently running 19th, but he's the last car on the lead lap. But that's what caused the issues with the 96. Let's go through your current top 10 as your leader is. The number three of Geek Girl Games. Second place will be the 123 of Roy Chow. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth, well, actually, third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the points leader. I'm trying to find him. Where is he even at? The, one, the 329 of Heck of a Duber, who had a good put pit stop. He's into the fourth position. Fifth will be the 300 of Resemble. Six will be the 95 of Zed Brunner. Seventh will be the double zero of Mudbone. Eighth will be the 23 of Fuller to the New. Ninth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. And rounding out your top 10 will be the one of Jamal Jackson. So an issue, the issue was, is that they got into the pits too hard. And so all of these drivers going through all of this, they're all a lap down. So the first car a lap down is the 80 of Hog Eric. They got into the pits, got in too hard, got into that outside wall and cause them to all go a lap down sitting in the pits. Luckily, the only reason the 96 didn't go lap down was because he was the leader at the time and he's able to get out and get in front of the three of Geek Girl Games who has now led the majority of the laps here today at 25. So it's gonna be a good day for the three of Geek Girl Games if she can keep it out here in front. I believe they should have at least one more pit stop here today. They pitted on about lap, what was it? lap 18 so one more pit stop about lap 36 to lap 40 to do it here today but if she can keep it out in front as that 80 of hog eric is almost to her back bumper he's working to try to get his lap back and get back you know maybe get a good pit stop maybe hope for the shenanigans that happened with the three of geek girl games uh they need to make sure they get slowed up for the uh, the runoff into into the pits there, as the 80 of Hog Eric is working right now, he's working to the back bumper of that three of Geek Girl Games, desperately trying to get his lap back. 
as the 96 of Nico is desperately trying to stay on the lead lap right there in front of him. Checking in on your third place car, the 123 of Roy Chow. He's mired in a battle right now between the 33, the 72, and the 20. All of those cars, again, all going to be a lap down here today as the 33, we saw him in that replay with the 88, or the, I'm sorry, the 96 of Nico crashing into the outside wall. So your third place car is the 49 of Jetman, and which is good for him as he currently runs fourth in points. He's roughly 180, 90-ish points behind the leader. So if he can get a good run here today and work himself, he could probably, I don't, I don't know, you know, because you got Duber is currently running in the fourth position behind him, but... The one that's going to benefit all of this is that three of Geek Girl games. So I think that, you know, at the most, Jetman and G3 could probably jump Nico if it stays like this the rest of the way. As the 13 to King of the Aces almost into his back bumper. Very tight racing as that 13 to King of the Aces tries to work his way back to the front, get back on the lead lap as the 80. Of Hog Eric down to the inside of that three of Geek Girl Games. Not a battle for the lead. This is a battle. So Eric can get his lap back, get back on that lead lap, and then hope for a caution, hope for anything that's going to allow him to get back into contention with the rest of these cars. Hope for a mistake by the three of Geek Girl Games. Hope for some more crazy shenanigans going into the pits. All those things he's hoping for right now as he gets his lap back. Checking for some battles for position on the track here. The 06 of Ice Cream Someday, she's 27th, so she's also a lap down. 07 is also a lap down here. As is the 40. All these cars, except for Duber right here, who is running between the 40 and the 88. He is on the lead lap, so Duber had a great entry into the pits, had a great pit stop, got himself out in the fourth position and I mean because he came out fairly close to G3 so may have been in the same spot I don't know we, we can only speculate right now as all these cars had to take repairs and all that stuff as he's working down to the inside of the 40 of veteran chaos again not a battle for position other than the 25 and the 88 and those folks are all bad and actually the 25 is yeah, he is a lap down with the 88 and the 51 and the 143. So hopefully we see some, well, I don't know. We'll figure out what, we'll see what happens with these pit stops. Um, the 95 is Ed Brunna. He is on the lead lap. The 300 of Resembles on the lead lap. So that double zero of Mudbone also on the lead lap. Going to be a good race for him if he can continue to be in the top 10 because he definitely is top 10 in points right now in his second season with, and, uh, with that toe stoppers racing. Jump back through this field. There's the poor 799 of Mike Check who is on the lead lap, uh, has fallen back a little bit there. 96 of Nico is definitely Getting away from, well, he's, he's he's basically running about the same lap times as G3. He's currently running a 35-146, and she was a 35-247 last time around. Fastest lap of the race, speaking of time, is going to be by the 71 of Kung Fu Beer at 160.681 miles per hour, or 33.607 seconds. So there are a couple... Seconds off the fastest lap of the race. KFB currently runs in the 36th position. Lap down by the 60, near the 69 of Arco Creates and that 38 of Baseman. So again, just rough break for a lot of those drivers going into the pits as G3 is just out here on an island all by herself as we have the 72, the 33, and the 20 drafting right here. Again, second place, the 123 of Roy Chow. He's out here just cruising. Third's gonna be still gonna be that 49 of Jetman. As we have a number of drivers working underneath the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So his only contention is gonna be by that 300 of Resemble. As he does get down to the bottom right there. 
behind the 88 of NM, but that 300, they're just, this top 10, just cruising right now as Duber into the pits. Gets on those binders. He is coming into the pits, folks. Final stop for this 329. Your points leader, heck of a Duber for a Douche Motorsports. Looks like the 123 of Roy Chow is in and that three of Geek Girl Games. Let's watch G3 for her final pit stop here today at Homestead. She needs a good stop. She needs bad stops by everybody else. So we're going to see her coming in. We didn't watch her when she entered the pits as she has right side tires going on right now. For that three of Geek Girl Games, looks like I got the second set up on the wall. She's down on the right, running around to the left. They got the left side going up. Fuel going into that three of Geek Girl Games. We have a caution on the track, folks. Caution on the track. The three is out. We're going to see what that does for all the stuff as the 49 of Jetman took over the lead. But caution on the track, folks. Caution on the track. Looks like the one of Jamal Jackson took over the lead. But that could be good for a number of drivers here today. As the 88 is on the lead lap with the three of Geek Girl Games, I do believe. I'm not sure if G3 is on the lead lap or not, but we are watching everything. But so G3 is on the lead lap. She's currently in the 17th position. I believe a number of these folks are going to have to pit as it looks like the 96 is coming in. See if we can get woed up into these pits. So good break for the 80 of Hog Eric, the 72, and a number of these other drivers. As we'll just catch up to the uh, pace car here. Looking through some of the timing and scoring. I'm going to have to wait for all this to update because I'm not quite sure what's going on. But we'll figure it out as your leader might be. Your leader might be the 329. We're going to find out. He might be on the tail end of the lead lap. Not quite sure yet. Actually, it's still, it's showing G3 as your leader right now. So, oh, we'll figure everything out. Let's see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by pit entering shenanigans, as I figured. So the 25 of JTM, he's going to be trying to get into the pits and he slides up. He's going to hit that 40 of veteran chaos, which is going to spin them both. But that's not it. As JTM is trying to get into the pits, he just accelerates too much here and ends up hitting the end of pit road wall. So JTM was the last holdout from those who everybody had had a DNF and JTM was the only one without one, but he is going to get his first DNF of the season here today at Homestead in race number 35. All right, so let's go through your current top 10. I'm going to I'm going to let you know before we go through that Duber is the last car on the lead or he's the first car No, wait, he's on the lead lap but he's in front of your leader, the 3 of Geek Girl Games. So these drivers up here, the 329, the 544, the 619 and the 8 all on the tail end of the lead lap. Your leader is the three of Geek Girl Games, she's led the most laps here today. She's had the car to beat all day. Uh, second place is going to be that 49 of Jetman. Third will be the triple seven. Wait, no, no. Triple seven of Seabass is a lap down here today. So he should be starting on the inside unless we get under 10 laps to go before they go one to go. Uh, the 420 is a lap down. So let's go through that again. Your leader is the three of Geek Girl Games. Second is going to be the 49 of Jetman. All the way back here, third is going to be the 300 of Resemble. Fourth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Sixth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Seventh will be the 42 of ZWTF. Eighth will be the 123 of Roy Chow. Ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone. And rounding out your top 10 will be the one of Jamal Jackson. Nico is running in 12th now, so good for him. Bad for that 329 of Heck of a Duber. So let's jump back up here to the front of this field. 
We do have the one to go from the More Freedom Series Stock Car Racing. No, More Freedom Stock Car Racing Association. They're giving us the one to go with 10 laps remaining. It actually might be nine laps remaining. I don't know. We're going to see if... So it is going to be a single. looks like it is going to be a single file restart. Duber's going to be leading us down to take the green flag. We're going to watch him. But your leader is at three of Geek Girl Games as this should take us to the end of the race, barring any cautions. So Duber's going to be leading the way here. I thought he had a chance as this puts him all the way back into 24th position. He's going to have clear track in front of him uh, and about 10 laps to go. So we're going to see if that allows him to get to the front. I'm, I'm, listen, we're, he's hoping for a caution. Basically, Duber is hoping for a caution right now and a lot of shenanigans going on in the back of the pack and allow him to get higher into the standings because as of right now, I think that would put Nico back into the number one position. Uh, but that's also going to allow G3 to be very close as Duber leads us back. We're underway here at Homestead. So Duber leads us down into turn one, but your leader on the track, your actual leader, is the three of Geek Girl Games. Fall right behind her is that 49 of Jetman. Jetman knocking on wood for him. He's going for win number four this season. He's got two wins, two normal wins this season. And he has the win in the all-star race. So he is going for win number four here today in the more freedom series and trying to put himself into, I don't know what position in points. He may stay fourth, but he's trying to work down to the inside of that three of geek girl games with nine laps to go here at Homestead. So the 49 of Jetman does not want that triple seven of Seabass to mess with him and, you know, not allow him to, get, to give him that chance to get to the back bumper to get around this three of Geek Girl Games. Just keeping an eye through the rest of this field. Let's jump back real fast and see what's going on as the 23 and the 300 battling it out for position. 660 and the 95 right here. Those two are battling for spots. As the 96 of Nico now trying to get down to the inside of the one of Jamal Jackson. That's going to be for the 10th position. The 80 of Hog Eric is not a lap down. So let's get back up here as the 49 of Jetman down to the inside of that three of Geek Girl Games. Down the front stretch I go. Drag race into turn one. G3 high. The 49. Oh, she comes down right to the front of the 49 of Jetman. She is doing everything she can right now to keep him behind her as. The triple seven of Seabass slides up. Here comes that 420 at Queen of Hearts. He's going to get a run down the backstretch. Is she going to play spoiler to that 49 of Jetman? He cuts down in front of her. Again, the 420, that is not a battle for position. The battle on the track is between the number three of Geek Girl Games and the 49 of Jetman as we have about six laps to go here at Homestead. So G3 is just keeping her foot down. She's basically pushing that thing through the floor right now as she is trying to stay out in front of that 20, 49 of Jetman. Battle on the track for the first position in this race and also a battle for the third position in points. She's currently up about 90, 90 96, 94 points on that 49 of Jetman. He's not going to be able to pass her even if in points, even if he wins this race. But he definitely, definitely wants that win here in the More Freedom Series. That'll give him win number three on the year. So the 49 of Jetman trying his hardest right now. He's right there to the back bumper of that three of Geek Girl Games as we head into three and four. We're gonna see if what he what he thinks he's about doing with just a handful of laps to go here at Miami, Miami Homestead. As the 420 at Queen of Hearts is just itching right now. She just wants to get in the mix. 
maybe give one of her fellow female drivers here in the series that win. If she can get in the mix with that 49 of Jetman, cause him to lose lose the back bumper of that three of Geek Girl Games as he is just so close right now. So close to the back bumper as that is that 49 of Jetman. Your fastest lap on the race will now be ran by the 80 of Hog Eric at 161.536 miles per hour or 33.429 seconds. So Eric has worked himself back into, he's into the 12th position, Nico up to 11th. Again, that's top 10 folks right there. So the 80 and the 96 as right, pulling that car left is the 49 of Jetman. Down into one and two. G3 cuts off right in front of him. We saw the 07 of Douche Baggins into the pits. Not sure what was happening with him, but he is coming out of the pits right now. As this lap, we've got like lap and a half to go here at Homestead as the 49 of Jetman slides a little high coming off of four. White flag here at Homestead for your leader, the three of Geek Girl Games. Last second slide by that 49 of Jetman. I'm not sure what happened to all these other drivers as the 80 of Hog Eric was into the pits. We're gonna see if the three and the 49 can go the distance here as the 80 comes up, slides right in front of that three of Geek Girl Games. He's high right now, off the turn four, here to the front stretch, your leader, the three of Geek Girl Games. She's gonna win it here at Homestead. Almost last lap shenanigans here at Homestead by the 80 of Hog Eric comes sliding up in front of that three of Geek Girl Games and she had a slide a little bit high there, but 49 was not close enough to take advantage and she's gonna pull out the win. Let's go through your finishing order as they all slide around. Again, your winner today is the three of Geek Girl Games. Second place will be that 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 300 of Resemble. Fourth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Sixth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Seventh will be the 42 of ZWTF. Eighth will be the double zero Mudbone. Ninth will be the 96 of Nico. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 123 of Roy Chow. Notable, Duber finished 16th on the day, so he did move up a few positions. Did not finish way back in 35th where he started, so. Another exciting race here today, but next week, our finale, finale next week, we go to Homestead for the Talladega 100, or no, Homestead, we go to Talladega for the Talladega 100, but we also have the season finale of the IROC series next week as well. So Monday, we're going to see the season finale of the IROC series. You're going to see if Nico can win that championship. And then you got the Talladega 100 on Friday. Speaking of championships, let's go through your finishing or your current points. I believe with his finishing position and leading a lap that might allow Nico to catapult over the 329 of heck of a Duber. We're also going to see if that uh, we're going to see where G3 Duber, Nico Jetman, all of those drivers are as it was a good race for her today. Um, so you're seeing those points. We're also going to check in on your team points. So I'm sure MBR is still leading the way, but a good thing will be let's look at those chassis standings and see who's leading those right now so again congratulations to the three of geek girl games she is your winner here today at homestead um that's going to take us to the final race of the season and it's going to be an amazing finish to the more freedom series after 36 races Next week, we end it for season three with the points so, so close between the top four, the top four. And we're going to see who pulls out the championship next week. And I'm looking forward to it. But your winner again, the three of Geek Girl Games. Congratulations to her. She led 50 laps here today at Homestead. Gets the win. And until next week, 
at Talladega for the season finale. Take care.